Hello. It's Sunday. <laughs> and it is raining a lot here. It is chilly and rainy and I kind of wish I had socks. What if I go grab socks quick? I think I should go grab socks quick. I did it before a minute was up too. That's great. Now I have socks. See, I was sitting crisscross in my chair in my office and I thought, this is fine. I don't need socks, I'm warm. And then I came in here and I can't sit that way. And I was like, I'm cold. So I had to go get socks. Let me start by pulling up my avocado picture. This needs to rotate. Much better. <laughs> Is the song title thing broken? It might be. Let's try. Let's try fixing that. Um, where is that? That is this button. And let's... I see Steven do this all the time. I can do it. Um... How does he do it? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I can't remember. I watch him do stuff like that all the time. Mm-mm, not that one. Hmm. <laughs> Until Steven notices, uh, or someone else knows, I'm going to leave it alone. Crowcake okay, says, your shirt's making me conflicted. My mom is super sad about the Canes losing streak. Yeah. Yeah. I... <laughs> no song titles for now? No. No song titles for now. We have a four month resub from a good way game Leet. Thank you. Well, I do have to go click over there though. So I can do this. Yeah. Oh yeah, I have this here and in my way. After stream on Thursday was it when I was streaming last? I had some stuff out and was doing some stuff. So some of this needs to move out of my way. So there's a vlog coming out about this soon. Um, I ordered some Redbubble stuff and this was one of the things I ordered. This is a wood panel. So it's on wood, which is neat and it's printed. So it turned out neat. There's some wood grain texture to it. It's slight but I like it and the colors look really great. So I liked that. But I had it in here cause I had to do something and try something on it. I was curious. Does Redbubble have a sale right now? It might, let's go find out. You can see the canvas texture in the print kit Khalid says, yes, you can, which I like. Um, up to 40% off site wide is their current sale, which um, how Redbubble works is some things they will have off 40% and some things they will have off 20% or 10% depends what it is. But there is some sort of sale going on right now up to 40%.
but I ordered that print and I ordered a few other things that you will see on a stream maybe this coming week. I don't know. It depends how far I finish on this painting. If I finish this painting, you'll see them. If I don't finish the painting, I'll be doing this painting. All right. So what I want to do today is I want to block in these things because I'm getting really sick of redrawing them all the time. So once they're blocked in, then we'll start like on some texture of the avocado and we'll see how far that takes us. So we're going to block them in and then try and finish the avocado. And then we'll see where we're at. That's my plan. So like the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to block in some base colors for both things. Um, kind of like how we had smooth pineapple for a while um, or like smooth pomegranate before I put the, um, the frosted highlight on this. And then we'll work on whatever. And like one of the things is the kiwi has brown on the outside. So like I have brown from the coconut so we can use some of that. Is it still wet? Yeah, it's still wet. But I want to finish this painting because there's a painting I want to do um, kind of otherwise. And I, <laughs> all of my palettes are full of paint. Oh, Thomas, how could you not raid? Why? <laughs> We're getting a Thomas raid, an unconventional Thomas raid with the hashtag touch the caboose. Were you watching some sort of train something? Why don't they put cabooses on trains anymore? Like Amtrak doesn't have those. Oh. Weird. Um, either let Chaz know. Chaz is um busy right now though. Um or remind me in like two hours. <laughs> Thomas says, it's fine. Sorry, Thomas, but thank you for the raid. Fossick says, I heard train? I don't know, Thomas's raid message had to do with trains. But welcome, raiders. I'm going to be painting um, the avocado and the kiwi today. Chess says we touch, or not, not Chess. Thomas says we touched a train caboose in a caboose of a cute fox. Well, I love that. Oh, you're playing Sly Coop. Ah, I see. Break all the pots says Chess, the wizard can fix anything. I believe that. Like anything, not just related to streaming. I believe that truly. All right, we need some green colors. What did I do last time for green? Did I mix it up? Actually, I have that green still from the pineapple. Why don't I just use it? How dry are you? Um, there might be enough to block this in. Let's do that so I don't waste paint. And we'll come back to that palette for the brown. So I have a base green, but a lot of this is very dark because ripe avocado get like brown black on top of things. So that's fine. What brush do I want? This brush. Did the Discord thing just go through? Ah. Took a while. It's because it's raining here. I don't know if you guys can hear that rain, but um, there was a tornado warning for part of our county, which was wild. Uh, what do I need? Burn umber. You're Sienna. There's umber. Sapphire Becca says, same. Tornado watch here. Hmm. All right, I have all of the necessary colors to block in this avocado. And this avocado, or this paint I have for green is quite dry. Because it's from when I did the pineapple. but I want to just fill it in first. What am I looking for? This. Mm. 
Now I wanted to block in the avocado and the kiwi despite the fact that I'm only planning to do the detail on the avocado today. Um, because like I said, I'm getting really tired of redrawing all my lines and neither of these overlap each other, so. And like this green is, like I said, from this green and it is a bit dry. Is this Adri? Yeah. We just have lyrics. And I'm kind of getting to the end of how much of this green I have, which isn't great news, but I do have more green. <laughs> Just trying to use up the green I have even though it's quite chunky and dry. This is a good vibe song though. It's called Hammer Time. The other day it occurred to me that I'm right-handed and I should have considered like putting my table here so I could reach easier. But when the day comes that I get maybe another camera to do an overhead so you can see my color mixing, then I'll want it here. So I was thinking maybe I should like, I've painted like this way forever, right? But like maybe I should rotate that way. That was something I was thinking of the other day. And I'm totally out of green. All right, let's go to the other green. It's the same green. See, I just have less of it in this other pile. Mike says, how has live streaming the painting been compared to pre-recording it? Um, I've liked live streaming it. Um, I do miss listening to my own music or podcasts, but that's kind of the only downside. Uh, yeah, Steven, I know the script isn't being run. It is being run. <laughs> I don't know why the text isn't up. So, um, yeah. And like, um, I don't remember how to fix it. <laughs> I 
I right clicked on it on the um, sources and I looked at all the options and none of them seemed like what I needed to do, so I didn't click any of them. So instead of messing it up, I decided to leave it alone. Jake says it chat. If you listen carefully, you can hear Steven scream. Yes. All right, so I've blocked that in. And now we're going to um, block in the outside of the kiwi. This is How About It, is the name of this song. We have a five month resub from Good Way Game Lee, thank you. Steven said, the only thing I can think of is quitting the script and relaunching it and pressing play. OBS shouldn't be involved. Now, let me do this. And then I'll do that. I think you have an idea where this song comes from, though. Hi, Josh. How are you? How are you faring? I'm painting the last of the fruit here. I'm blocking it in. Once I do the last brown for this kiwi, um, I'm going to try and fix the music thing. I'm doing okay, Josh says. Well, I'm glad it's okay and not like bad. <laughs> I 
Blaze says painting while battling the champion. Yep. I can do both. Josh says, the last two days were bad. Today is marginally better. Well, that's better. Sometimes that's all you can ask for. This brush is like not quite as sharp as I need it to be for doing these edge lines. It's a little like fuzzy, like it has some split ends or something. Sometimes when I was doing like the YouTube videos, I'd cut this sort of part of the painting out because like my head is upside down and the painting is shoved to the side. Josh's painting is coming along nicely. Thank you. So I have to tell you all, I texted a photo of it obviously earlier today or last night actually to my grandmother because I talked to her and uh, my grandma is like 95. And so I texted her a photo of the painting as it was. And she's like, it's really looking nice. She's like, I don't care much for the orange slice though. And she's like, but filling in the avocado and kiwi is going to look really good. I'm like, why don't you like the orange slice? But it was kind of a nice, well thought out comment from my grandmother who I don't think has ever done any sort of like arts or crafts or anything. Like that really wasn't stuff my grandma was into. And I asked my dad and I was like, did grandma ever do anything in, uh, like art or craft related? And he's like, I don't think so. He said, you'll have to ask your aunt. My dad was moved out at like 16 because it was like the seventies and he had a good job. <laughs> Steven says your grandmother is very sweet. She's wrong, but very sweet. I just wasn't expecting her to like not be like, Oh, it's really pretty darling. Like I kind of expected more of that. I'm not hurt by it. I'm just very impressed that she like gave her opinion and it was like brutally honest. I was like, Surprise, like, thanks, Grandma. So, yeah, that was a fun text message I got last night. It was like 10 p.m. her time, and I'm like, why are you awake? I thought you went to bed early. We have another lyric song. That's fine. Let me just finish this, and then I have to mess with the music anyway to try and fix it, so... I'm almost done with the brown parts here. This is gonna look ridiculous right now, but it's fine. It'll make sense later. I am painting a little bit of brown around the edges of this. Like you really won't see a whole lot of it, but I wanted to fill this in because I need just enough later for there to be an indication of it, of the skin on the edges here. But I'm painting a bit more heavy handed than it should be.
This is also showing me I missed a little bit here with the uh, coconut, so I'll have to fill that in in a second. Okay, that's what I wanted to get done before I lost this brown paint. All right, so what did Steven say? He said, uh, stop the script, restart all the music, and it should work. This is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon something. Okay. Let's move you so I don't get any paint on my new shirt. Costco sells uh, NFL and NHL and stuff. So I got this hoodie. Steven says, quit the script. Okay. Stop the script. Quit the script. Now what? Quit. <laughs> yeah, no, you just need to go to a Costco. See, they didn't have jerseys. They had like other shirts. Like that's why I have a hoodie. And then they had t-shirts for canes, and then they had like a heavyweight hoodie. This is a very thin hoodie. But not jerseys. Open script and press play. Oh, I just have to restart the script? That's it? Okay. It's not back. <laughs> oh, it is back. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Success. Wonderful. Tech support Steven to the rescue. Uh-huh. All right, I need to fix this tiny little dot of coconut that I missed because I thought it was going to be kiwi. There, you can't even tell. You probably couldn't tell unless you were like inches from it. Steven says, did you forget to press play in the script? No, I know I did. It said it was running. <laughs> Blaze says, if nothing else works, turn it off and back on again. See, I thought I could like, uh flash the source and OBS and I couldn't remember how to do that. I thought that would solve my problem. But I couldn't remember how to do it, so. How are we doing? Are we pretty dry? No, we're not. That's fine, we gotta mix up all of our avocado colors. So I don't need these pineapple colors anymore, so we are going to put them all on my paint sheet, which is just paint. <laughs> Where's my sketchbook? Sketchbook, hold this for me. So I painted the pineapple like a week ago and like I saved all the colors and some of them I saved and saved and some of them uh, dried out. Which means I didn't do a great job in sealing the plastic wrap around them, but that's fine. I don't need it, but I had saved it in case I did. So like this is how much of the gold color I have left from the pineapple. So I'm just smearing it on my paint sheet to make whatever this is going to be, which is just kind of a very strange piece of like, uh, Fordite. Well, thank you for fixing it, Steven. I didn't know what to do. I tried a couple things and I was scared to do more than that. The main pineapple color, I have a lot of that.
The rain today has been nice. It's been kind of a nice gentle rain. I was woken up by a large uh, burst of thunder this morning, which was not exciting. There, so I put all those paint colors on this. We will let that dry out. the paint is off my palette that I need to deal with. So this needs to get sprayed down and cleaned off. It's green fruit kind of day. It is, we got all of that left. I'm really excited to paint the inside of the kiwi because it has all the little detail I like painting. Like that's what I liked painting about like the coconut is all the little detail and like the orange slice and then like the crown. So like this part, I'm really looking forward to doing. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. But all of my palettes are full of paint. And I suppose I don't need the pomegranate coconut one, but this one was basically done. The paint was dried out that I needed or didn't need and everything else was basically over, so. This is the frustrating thing about acrylic paint sometimes. Like with oil, this would all still be wet and with watercolor, you could just like spray water on it and it would become workable again, but this is like not workable. So that's one of the frustrating things about acrylic, but once you kind of figure out the ins and outs of how it works and like what you're capable of and what you can do and like what the paint will do, it's better. You just have to get used to it. clean palette or as clean as it's going to get being misused and um, little scratches over the years. Yama Dorgan says watercolor really depends on the paper you're using. Paper I use gets stained in color. So simply wetting the surface won't fix the mistakes. Um, I mean, yeah, for the paper itself, but like on your watercolor palette, you can always just wet it back down and then it's workable. Jacob says, what instruments have I played? I played clarinet. I feel like clarinet's the only thing I'm qualified to speak on. <laughs> I played B-flat clarinet from fifth grade to about junior year of high school. And in junior year, I picked up bass clarinet because we didn't have a bass clarinet player. And I was the only one who didn't take private music lessons at my public school. So I was not given, we never had additions for chair. Um, it was just whatever the band teacher felt like who got to be first parts and first chair and get solos. So I switched to bass clarinet and the other girls were a little clicky too. So I was like, well, this will put me more towards the middle of the room and not <laughs> with all the other clarinetists. And then I got solos. I got a bass clarinet solo. It was great. 
I got to play contrabass for solo and ensemble one year, and that was a lot of fun because it sounds like a foghorn. <sighs> so yeah, those are the only things I really feel like confident talking about is clarinet family. I can play treble clef on piano and read piano keys, but I'm not very fast or fluent in bass clef. So like the left hand for uh, piano is, I really have to think and go slow and then work on memorizing it because I'm not capable of doing it. I can sight read treble clef fine. And then like Steven was teaching me a few guitar chords and I don't remember any of them, but like it was really hard on my fingers and now I have long nails. So like, that's hard. So that's really all I can do. I know you said you danced in high school. Was it just ballet? Um, no, it was jazz, ballet, lyrical, which is like slightly more like contemporary modern. Um, and then I helped student teach. Ooh, it's teal. Yay, it's working. Um, and then I like did student teaching demo work with the like the little like five-year-old kids for tap because it was just like shuffle step, shuffle, hop step, tap. And so it was just like demo work where you'd stand there and be the demo person for them so they could see. And it was tap and like, I didn't know anything besides those steps. So I kind of learned along with them. And that's like all I know, know from tap dancing. But yeah, ballet was kind of what I preferred. And I was on point junior and senior year. But I started late because I was like starting clarinet. My mom's like, Carly needs a hobby. So she put Carly in jazz and hip hop dance. And so like Carly was doing that. And then once Carly started band, I was like, I want to do dance too. And so I didn't start dance till later. So I didn't get a whole lot of time with it, but I really enjoyed ballet. Uh, that was 300 bits from Reed, by the way, who said teal. And if you weren't here on Thursday, Chaz made it so you can like describe a color or like something and it will try and pick the color that it's closest to with what you're describing and it will um, drop paint in that color. <laughs> Thomas says, your government assigned hobby is. Oof. Let's move that table closer. Uh, what was I doing next? I was waiting on this to dry. Are we dry here? We are dry. I can erase my chalk lines. Table, table heavy, but table on wheels, but also like, it's sitting on top of like five drop cloths and then on top of carpet. So, it's just hard to roll table. Oh, I lost some of the brown here. That's fine, I'll fill that in. Oh, I never clicked back over. There we go. All right, avocado. We need to mix up, I need to go back to my avocado reference. Um, colors for the avocado. So here's my opener. I'm gonna pull some burnt umber and burnt sienna for the browns and we're gonna mix up some greens and probably some ultramarine to make our shadow colors to make some of this darker. Is this whole avocado or split? It's whole avocado. Because we have two split things already, I didn't wanna do more of that. I thought that would be too much split. Ultramarine. Are you totally empty? Is it time to get my new ultramarine blue? No, just a little bit left. That's the problem I have with these aluminum paint tubes is when they get to the very end like this and you can see it's crinkled because I have one of those ringers. 
um, the very, very end. I want to get every drop of paint out. <laughs> They're expensive. Uh, let's see. I need to make green. And I wanted red, magenta. And this one's also almost empty, but it, there's more in it than the ultramarine. I'm gonna try and get more of this out because I don't think I put enough ultramarine blue on the palette. So like I'll ring it all the way up to the top when it's almost empty. And then I find if I fold it like so, kind of see, then I can kind of push that into this area and get a little bit more out. Like so. Can you tell? I'm just trying to get as much out as I can. And I think that's all I'm gonna ever get out of this tube, so. Do I have another one out? I do. So I'm gonna mix up a green. And like, this is way too yellow green. It's also kind of I was gonna say, I, I didn't think it was a very pretty green, but I think it's just because there's a lot more yellow in it than I want. decide if I want to go more blue with this or a little more yellow with this green because it's not going to be solid this on this avocado it's going to be more mixed in with the browns to make the texture of the outside of the avocado And I didn't want it to be underripe because I don't think it'll be as recognizable as like a ripe avocado. So that's why it's going to be quite brown black. So I've mixed some of that green in with, what, burnt umber? I'm 
Now we're going to do another one, but make it our shadow color. So I'm aiming for it to be a bit more like super dark blue black, but brown also. Ooh, this is really pretty. I don't know how to describe this. It's brown, but it's like blue-purple. It's cool. So the interesting thing about this avocado is like there's, if you think of the outside of it, it's kind of pebbled. Um, and then there's like that skin tone to it, but then there's like the pebbles to it. And then like, there's also like a sheen for the highlights. So like there's a few different layers in painting this detail and thinking about all those different layers is what's going to make this look like an avocado. So it's not just like, painted a solid color and put a highlight on it. Like there's a little bit more to it. Did I not put any titanium white on my palette? I didn't. I need that. I don't need much of it, but I need it. All right, I have a handful of colors on my palette. Let's talk about them. So these were all my mixing colors across the top and there was burnt umber up here, but I used it all. So it's in this. So I have a green and there's not a whole lot of this to it. It's going to kind of just be in areas where I want it to be a little bit more green. So it's going to kind of get to be transparent and become a glaze. I need to pull the glaze out. Um, and then I mixed it in with some of the brown I made um, to start to like fade it into the other colors. And then I have this kind of medium brown and then a darker brown. And then I have what looks like black paint, but this is actually like ultramarine blue with some burnt umber and then a little bit of sienna to kind of make it as neutral and dark as I could, but I'm not using any black paint in this painting. I'm using like ultramarine blue for my shadows and burnt umber, this one. So this is a brown. So that's what I am doing with all of this. Do I have raw umber to compare? That's a good question that I have. I do, raw umber is actually a little darker than burnt umber. It looks like this. I also have raw sienna, which is more of a yellow and burnt sienna is more of an orange. Yeah. All right, glazing liquid. So the other thing I noticed is I accidentally didn't paint all of the coconut that I needed to paint. There's a little bit of pink showing through right here. So I'm just taking some of this burnt umber and stuff in here. And 
and just filling in a little bit and you won't even be able to tell. It's already done. The pink adds flavor. Yeah, I've been trying to leave a little pink, but um, that didn't happen. So now I can't have any pink on the fruit. It has to stay its color that I made it. I mean, there's a little bit in the orange, I think, but that's fine. <laughs> All right, so I'm starting with my green color and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give hints of green, like where it hasn't fully ripened yet, in areas based on my reference avocado photo. And it's not highlight, this is just like skin color. The highlight will be later when I use titanium white in the same way that this kind of has this like waxy highlight on it, the avocado is gonna have the same. So this is not highlight, this is just like the color of the avocado itself. So it's going to be very rough for a bit, but that's how it always is. Oh, I also... It has a stem, or the hole of where the stem goes. Rain's picking back up. Maybe. And I think it's most intense in my reference image, kind of in this area. Yeah, there's a lot of colors. I tried to block in the skin of the kiwi just so I didn't have to keep drawing it and erasing my lines that I've drawn a million times, it feels like. But we're mostly working on the avocado today. And once we're done with that, we'll see where we're at. <laughs> Leica sure wishes it wouldn't pick up. Oh, poor Leica. It is hard for Leica when it rains. All right, so we're moving into the green that I have here mixed with um, some of the brown I made. And we're gonna do kind of the same thing. We're gonna bring that into the areas where that is, where it's not super dark, and try and also blend in some of the green that I have here. And I'm using glazing liquid to make it transparent. So you will see some of that like, this green, the really emerald green. And that's okay if that's getting hinted at through the other colors.
Alex says, I'm on uncle duty. Thankfully, it's easier than parent duty. Yeah, Alex is being a good uncle this weekend. All right, so I did the light green and then into the brownish green. And now we're working our way into more brown colors. And the other thing I'm going to start thinking about now that I've done that is the shadow on the avocado. So we're gonna have our highlight kind of in this area. And then there's gonna be a little bit in other places. But I need to start filling in the shadows too. I have way too much glazing liquid on my brush. So I can dry brush a lot of this texture in here with these browns on top of the greens because I like having the greens in here and I need to have some of them, but I don't want it to be solid green like it is right now. It's too smooth. That's starting to look like an avocado. Cool.
All right, now we're gonna work into our two darkest brown shadow colors. Sometimes I just lightly miss the palettes to keep things from drying out. I'm not adding a ton of water when I do that, just a little. So I'm kind of laying like the color I want to be here down and then I'm brushing it outwards very forcefully to just dry brush some of that color on top of the other areas. And I'm kind of going in circles scrubbing it. The Nintendo Painter gifted a sub to Alex. Thank you. And we have an eight month resub from Layla three. Thank you. And that started a hype train. A Sunday hype train. I'm actually super happy with this and kind of impressed that it looks as good as it does. Happy with that. Okay, let's fill in the little stem part and then we're gonna let this dry before I try and do some more detail on it. I'm just taking all these same colors
Alex says, the avocado seems like a challenge because it's so dark and textured, but it looks like it's coming along great. Thank you. Um, I'm liking the base layer I'm doing on it, but I have worries about doing um, the rest of it. <laughs> I should look up what this actually looks like instead of trying to do it from memory. Um, yeah, I have the right idea. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Noah. <laughs> Reference image. We have a Forma 3 sub from LV Technician. Thank you. said the still life is actually a great showcase of different textures spiky pineapple fleshy hairy coconut swanky orange flesh shiny glass yeah that's when we were building it that was something i was thinking of when people were listing fruit to me like i was like the first thing was the kiwi and i was like that has a really cool inside texture that i would like to paint and then someone said pineapple and i'm like well that's spiky and tall that's really great and then like the glass was kind of the last thing and we had like everything else drawn and i was like we need something else tall and I think Renee was like, what about a glass, a drink? I was like, it's a good idea. It's a really good idea. All right. So the next thing I have to do on this is it's still damp. Is I need to do the highlight and like all of the bumps and that's part of the same thing. So I'm going to cover up all these colors so they don't dry out. And we're gonna work on the kiwi because <laughs> this is too wet and I need it to not blend in that much. And I'm out of plastic again. Let's grab some more. Haley says, are we doing veggies next? Um, I wanna do a landscape next. I have a thought on a landscape, but we'll see what I end up doing. I kind of want to maybe do a cooking soon. Covered up all those colors. 
you are going somewhere else. I really don't want you to lay down or stand up on your side. All right, I don't need coconut or pomegranate color, so we will get rid of this palette we will clean off. We're gonna do the same thing. And clean it off. <laughs> Painting fruit, cooking veggie. <laughs> yeah, I can do that kick lead. <laughs> Ooh, that is still very wet though. Hmm, it's fine. There is not as much paint on this palette to scrape off and put on my paint sheet as there was on the last one. Like, I only put a little bit of the red here down by my thumb from the pomegranate colors. And soon I will have a clean palette again to fill in kiwi colors. The other thing I'm worried about with the avocado texture and filling in the highlight is um, my reference image doesn't have the highlight in the same spot. Which, you know, none of them do because it's not like I set up all of these fruits and stuff to take a photo to have a full reference image of all of them together. So I have to kind of like mentally go through where the highlight would be. And that's fine. I've been doing that just fine. But there's this texture on the avocado. And I really want to make sure that everything is dry underneath before I try and add that highlight. And maybe I can draw it in with chalk if it's all the way dry. So we'll block in the kiwi more while we wait. So clean palette, all set. And I'm really getting a lot of paint on my nails. So 
So yeah, my reference image for the kiwi, not kiwi, avocado has the highlight here, but like all of my highlights have been left. So like the highlight should be more here and then maybe catch a little bit right here. So I wanna make sure it is totally dry before I do anything to it. Early on when I was painting, I would not clean off my hands like this a lot. And then I would touch the canvas and get something somewhere. And after doing that a few times and having to like fix it and clean it and change what I messed up, then I started making sure my hands were clean whenever I would go between stuff like this. Perfect. All right, kiwi color. So when I did the coconut, I did the inside of the coconut first. So I'm gonna do the same thing here with the kiwi. And when I use the two bringer, I was talking about this earlier. Like I'll do some of it sometimes, like up a little bit. And then I need to do more now. because the color is getting more empty in the tube. But I don't wanna do it too tight because then when I open the cap, it's just gonna shoot out. So I only do a little bit so it doesn't do that. caps back on sometimes just results in accidents. All right, I have colors to make green. I need titanium white. And the brightest part of the surface of the kiwi is going to be like, because there's liquid is going to be the highlight of that. So nothing can be pure titanium white except that. Do I need some red to tone this down a little bit? Maybe. We'll put a little bit on the palette. up our green. So we have primary yellow, a little bit of cyan, and what I don't want to do is do like the super neon yellow green, which is what I've just mixed, like this. This is not our kiwi color. So I need to have kind of a base, which you don't see much on the kiwi, and then lighten that base up with titanium white because if I have too much yellow, it's just going to be neon. And even if I was doing like a gold kiwi, um, those have a little bit more brown in them. It's not like this pure titan um, primary yellow yellow.
Are we talking about accidentally drinking drinks of other people's with other stuff in it? I think my own experience would be um, accidentally taking a drink of my dad's beer thinking he was having root beer. Which he would sometimes do, so it's not that weird that I thought that. And whatever he was drinking at the time was in a silver can just like the root beer came in. So that was an unpleasant surprise, was to suddenly taste beer. <laughs> Steven says, oh, we can definitely change the subject. Yeah, that'd be great. So like, this is less neon green. Alex says, which of these fruits do you most want to eat? Uh, Moose says, kiwi. I agree, kiwi. Kiwi looks most appetizing. Or it will, in my opinion. Renee says, I want the drink. a lot of Pokemon music today. All right, here's our base green. Steven says pomegranate only because I never eat those. The one time we did pomegranate, Steven, you did not like it. <laughs> All right, base green. Um, let's lighten that up with some titanium white. And this will tell me if I like it or not, or if it's too something. Because the base green I've mixed isn't really a green that is going to exist in this painting. Broken Physics says pomegranate is better in juice form. I agree. This is probably a good color for the lightest part. Okay. I'll swatch these on my paper in a second. you can see all of these that I'm going to be working with. Sketchbook. All right, so we have, I'm running out of room. Dark kiwi color. Let 
medium kiwi color. And lightest kiwi color. And let's label these because I haven't done that in a while. Kiwi. Coconut. Um, coconut shell. Pineapple orange. I didn't swatch the avocado. That's fine. All right, do I like how these are drawn in? Um, this one I thought was fine. This one's a little off. Is this scene from the dark world again? The song has been stuck in my head since my last stream. That's menacing. So like this distance and this distance and this distance, these two should be the same and these two should be the same. Steven says, are you tackling the avocado and the kiwi today? I wanted to do the texture and highlight on the avocado, but I needed to dry and it's still wet. And I'm not done streaming. So I'm going to block in the kiwi, but I probably won't finish either. I'll probably have to do detail on both next stream. I'm like, this won't perfectly be it because this isn't a perfect circle, but it should be like relatively close. And it is. But I do think it's too big, so I'm gonna square it down a little bit. That'll work. Let's block these in. Actually, let's cover this up first. So I'm using the lightest colors in the center. I need some more glazing liquid. Have fun at the park, Alex. And then I'm gonna switch to the dark color next. And actually, let's draw on a few of these lines. Cause like there's the spokes where the seeds sit in. And I'm not drawing all of them. I'm just trying to give myself an indication of where these, where I should aim with these colors.
And I'm going to take that same darker color and put it on the very edge. And I'm just going to soft brush this into the pink part. So I finished that green. And I'm going to that middle green and that's going to be this last part here in between where I have to fill in yet. Basically what I'm trying to do with this color is fill in any of the canvas showing through to a green. And I'm losing a little bit of the darker green I have around the core of the pine, uh, kiwi, but that will get built back in. I'm not super concerned about that. But now they're looking like kiwi, which is nice. 
because that did not exist before. When the song comes on, does anyone else expect Steven to start singing? They look ridiculous, but they look like kiwis right now. Steven says, I forgot that we had the Yoshi Island results music at one time. I don't think it's in rotation. Is it not? I feel like you just sang it. I need more plastic again because I'd started with two new palettes today filled in. All right, so let's talk about where we're at. And it's been just about two hours. So this is probably a really good stopping point because anything else I do is going to take some time. So let's talk about where we're at. And then um, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna start by running my Patreon ticker. These are my Patreon uh, supporters who support me over on patreon.com slash Um if you are interested in supporting me or the perks that come with that, um, Fossix has the Auto Chaz link for you. Um, there's also a up to 40% sale going on on Redbubble right now. And you can get um, any of the paintings I've done so far. Um, I have this one right here. Let me hold it up. This is a wood print of my Bell Chime trail painting. So the wood print turned out super cool. It has a little bit of the wood texture in it because it's a wood print. Um, these wood prints are not I don't think I have them up for every painting because they only come vertical, but like the way the back looks, you could just rotate it yourself and hang it on the wall the other way. So, uh, like I said, there's up to a 40% sale off. It's not everything 40% off. It's some things and I don't remember which things in particular. So, um, there's also the link in chat for that. If you are interested in picking up anything for the holidays. That would be a great support to me and you also get a cool thing out of it. And 
like I said, that's actually from Redbubble. Like I ordered that and got it and it looks really good. I also got some other things to test out um, and they will get shown off on the next cooking stream. But those also turned out really cool. So everything I've seen from Redbubble, I have been impressed with the print quality and the colors and how good it looks. So check that out and see what you think. Um, so with the painting, um, the avocado is getting there. I need to do a highlight on it yet, but it's still very damp because I was doing a lot of glazing and lots of layers on it. So it does need highlights yet. Like it looks a little flat. So it needs something kind of like this, but pebbled texture because that's what the avocado is. It has a pebbly texture. So I will get to that on the next painting. I, it needs to dry a lot. Um, the kiwi is just blocked in some solid colors, so that definitely needs to get done. It still has a bit of work yet. So those are things I'm going to be tackling next stream. And besides those things, the only thing I really have to do is put a shadow down on the ground because everything kind of floats right now, but it's getting there. So that's great. Because I really like this painting, but I have another idea and I want to paint. <laughs> I want to paint that too. So I need to finish this one first because I only have three palettes and they have paint on them. Uh, I Spy Moose says, we have a drawstring bag and it's a good quality. Great, I, have, um, I haven't seen the drawstring bags in person, so I am glad to hear that. I have one of the other bags and I also like that. So those are great um, to check out. When is my next stream? Um, what's today, Sunday? Um, what am I doing tomorrow? I might have some time in the day tomorrow. I have something going on in around like four or 5 p.m. So I could do something earlier tomorrow. I do want to get this painting done. So um, make sure you are following so you have an alert when that happens. Um, but I will be doing an evening stream sometime this week, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. Tachi says, I have posters of old paintings and they are great quality. I'm glad to hear that. There's a lot of like flat print options and the posters I'm glad to hear are, are good quality. Cool. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Um, let's see, it's Sunday. Where is my phone? There's my phone. Are any of my friends streaming? Ah, oh, my friend Ann Kay is streaming. Do we have a raid message for Ann? We're going to be raiding my friend Ann Kay, who is doing um, some sort of retro stream. Maybe just Kiwi. Swanky Lemons is nice. <laughs> what was that? Did I say Swanky Lemons? <laughs> or is that supposed to be in reference to the Kiwi? Alex did. Uh, let's do just Kiwi then. Cause then you can tell Anne that I was just painting a Kiwi. All right, um, oh, I can do it from my phone. I forget I can do it from my phone. Um, let's see. Chat. Oh, Chaz is here now. <laughs> Chaz, I'm just getting ready to raid. All right, let's do hashtag just Kiwi and we will tell Anne hi. So thanks everyone for being here. I will see you probably tomorrow um, where I continue to work on the avocado and then more detail on the Kiwi. But thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a good Sunday and please go tell Anne K just Kiwi. Anne is playing some sort of retro Japanese game. I'm not sure. Chaz, are you able to... S I did start it. Can you send everyone, though, for me? I don't know if you can if I start it. I don't know how it works. 
<laughs> I must send. But I can't do that from here. So we just have to wait. <laughs> Broadcaster only? <sighs> That's the problem, is everything is over there and I don't know how. Then we wait, then we wait. Okay, that's fine, we'll wait. <laughs> I have a stream deck, I just don't have that part set up. I have music control, I have, I can change to the intro screen and I can change the timer and I can mute and I can clear alerts. That's what I can do. Almost done with the timer. All right, everyone, thanks for being here. Go tell Anne, um, just Kiwi. Hope you have a good Sunday. I have no idea what Anne is playing. You're welcome. I hope you're doing well, Anne. It's been a very long time since I've seen you in person. All right. Oh, we're still playing. There we go. All right, hope everyone has a good Sunday. I will see you tomorrow for more painting.